Welcome to another Wise Guys tutoring video, and in this one, we're going to take a look at using the date function for some simple interest questions, and and we'll provide the answers for you. All right, let's give this first one a try. Bring in the old calculator. You have just finished an investment of three thousand dollars in a fund that paid you an interest of $40.68 at an interest rate of 5.5% per annum. You received this money on September 13th of 2008. When did you invest the money? So the question wants to know, when did you invest the money? So it wants to know the start date. So if we start at the top, it says you just finished an investment of $3,000. So this is our principal in a fund that paid you an interest of $40.68. So this is our interest earned at an interest rate of 5.5%. So then this is our rate. You received this money on September 13th, 2008. When did you invest the money? So then if we make our little triangle with I on top, P, R, T on the bottom. Well, we have P, 3,000. We have I, $40.68. And we have R, 5.5%. So what's missing is the T. So then our formula for T is I divided by P R. Now we should change the rate into a decimal so we'll move the decimal place two places to the left and make it 0 0.055. So then we're going to divide $40.68 by 3000 times 0 0.055 so we're going to figure out the bottom first. So 3,000 times 0 0.055 equals. So then we've got $40.68 divided by 165. So then 40.68 divided by 165 equals. So now this is time, but we have to convert it two days. So then we want to multiply this by 365. And the reason we're changing it to days is because the question wants to know when did you invest the money. And so then we're going to use the date function. And so then we just convert it to days. So just times 365. And we get 89.9. .9. So we're going to round this to 90 and make it 90 days. So now to use the date function, we'll go second function 1. So that's where the date is. So now the start date is actually what we're solving for. So we're just going to scroll down past the start date to date 2. And at date 2, now my calculator goes month, day, year. So then September 13th, 2008. So September, uh, let's see, September is January, February, March, April, May. June, July, August, September. September is the ninth month. So 9, decimal, 13, 0, 8, enter, down arrow. So then 13, oop, 9, decimal, 13, 0, 8, enter, down. DBD is days between dates, which is the 90. So 90, enter. Then we're going to push the up arrow twice, back to date 1, and we're going to push compute. And so 6, 15, 2008. Of course, 6th is the month of June, so June 15th, 2008. And it even tells us it was on a Sunday. Let's try another one. 
You have just paid back a loan of $1,000 with $10.68 interest. The loan had an interest rate of 6.5% per annum. You took out the loan on May 1st of 2008. What date was the loan due? So they want to know the date the loan was due. So that means they want date two. So then if we start at the top, we have a loan of $1,000, so that's our principal, and we paid it back with $10.68 interest, so that's our I. The loan had an interest rate of 6.5%, so that's our R. And then uh, you took out the loan on May 1st of 2008, so this is our date one. So then if we make our little triangle, We know the P, $1,000. We know the I, $10.68. And then we know the R is 6.5%, which if we move the decimal two places is 0 0.065. So again, what's missing is T. So then to solve for T, we're going to take the 1068, divide by 1,000 times 0 0.065. So then we divide or multiply the thousand times 0 0.065. So we get 65. So then 1068 divided by 65. And again, we have to change this into days. So times 365. And we get 59.9, so we're going to say 60 days. So now we need to change that into date 2. So now we'll go second date, second 1. And date 1 is May 1st, 2008. And if you remember, May is the fifth month, so 5 decimal 0108 entered down twice and zero 08. And the reason we're going down twice is because we're going to DBD, days between dates. And that's the 60. Enter. And then we'll push the up arrow once. So 60. Enter. Up arrow. And at date 2, we will push compute. And so then 6.30.2008. So we're looking at June 30th, 2008. Okay, so let's just do a quick review of that one. So, uh, first thing they told us is we had a loan of a thousand, so that's our principal, and we paid ten dollars and sixty-eight cents interest, so that's our I. The loan had an interest rate of six point five percent, so that's our R. You took out the loan on May first, two thousand eight, so that's our date one. And then what was the loan? Uh, what was the due date? Date 2. So we knew principal, we knew interest, we knew the rate. If we use our triangle of I over PRT, we're solving for T. So then T is equal to the uh, I over PR, so $10.68 divided by the 1000 P times, uh, we change this 6.5% to a decimal of 0 0.065. So then we multiplied 1,000 times 0 0.65 to get 65, and then $10.68 divided by 65 gave us this answer. And then we had to change this answer to days, so we times it by 365 to get 60 days. Then we go into our date function, plugged in, plugged in the May 1st, 2008. So May is the fifth month, decimal 0108, enter, down, down. And then the days between dates, we put in the 60 from our answer here, and it went up to date 2 and pushed compute, and we got June 30th, 2008. All right, so that has been another video for the Wise Guys Tutoring Videos series. If you need any help, we are located here at Red River College. Thank you, and have yourself a great day.